Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover this problem, which is a phase shift problem from Khan Academy. The student was asking if their equation is correct and they wanted some feedback. So the short answer is that it's almost correct. So it's not yet correct, but it's really close. So we can fix it. In this problem, we're looking at Pluto's distance from the sun, and we've got this information here. It says 7.4 is the maximum distance, 7.4 billion kilometers, and then 4.4 is the minimum distance. And those minimum distances happen at 1989 and 2237. They want a function d uh, that represents the distance from, of Pluto from the sun after t years, after 2000. So time is based on 2000. Zero, essentially, is the year 2000. And they want us to write a function and then use that function to make a prediction. So I'm going to actually start this problem off by um, doing a little sketch. Sketches can be really helpful even in complex problems. So here, and I can see there's a fairly complex problem. There's a lot going on. Um, we have our y and x axis, and I know that they told me that uh, this is based on the year 2000. So this is where time is zero. It's the year 2000 on the y axis. So I'll say that this is 1989, 11 years before 2000. And the year 2237 is 237 years after 2000. And they also tell us that at negative 11, right, 1989, and 237, which is 2237, excuse me, 2237, those are minimum distances. It's at 4.4, I believe, right, billion kilometers. And then it also reaches a maximum distance of 7.4 uh, in this wave um, because I view this as a cosine wave, and we'll look at this as a sine wave in a moment. I recognize that between these two minimums, halfway between, there should be a maximum here. So something like this, right? And this is our wave. Okay, so here we've got a lot of information that we're dealing with, but we can start to extract what we need. First of all, I'm going to say, what is the period? Well, the period happens between any two minimum points on the graph. So that's the period is going to be 237 minus negative 11, and that gets you 248. So, so this the cycle takes 248 years to complete a cycle here. And then I might look at my midline. That's just the average of the maxes and the mins. So it's 7.4 plus 4.4, which is 11.8, divided by 2 is 5.9. That's our midline. And the amplitude is the distance from a max to the midline. So how far apart is 7.4 and 5.9? You could do 7.4 minus 5.9. Take the absolute value, just to be safe, and that's 1.5. So this helps us out. The only thing we need now is a phase shift. So it depends how you view this. We'll look at this from the perspective of a sine wave and a cosine wave. I see this shape of a cosine that's upside down. Cosine wave here, upside down, reflected over the axis, right? Typically your cosine wave is something like this, but this is reflected in the other direction. Okay, so because I'm viewing that that way, a cosine wave typically has a minimum or a maximum, depending from which perspective you're looking at it, uh, at zero. So this, in other words, this minimum should be here, but it's not, it's moved over. So it's over by 11. So it tells me my phase shift is 11. It's too far over, right? So now I could write my function. Now in general, the general structure of these functions, you've got a times sine or cosine, right, cosine of b times x plus c plus d. Well, d is the midline, c is the phase shift, and b is connected to the period, b equals 2 pi over the period, and the absolute value of this number is the amplitude. So for us, d of t, I'm going to flip this upside down so it's negative 1.5. If this number is negative, it reflects the trig wave. Just like any function, if you multiply it by a negative, the output by a negative number, it will reflect it over an axis here. 
times the cosine of 2 pi over my period, 2 pi over 248 days, times x. So our phase shift was 11 to the left, so it's you're, you're adding 11 there. And then plus our midline of 5.9. And that's our function. So what we're going to do is look at this um, on Desmos. So I wrote, I want to ignore, ignore this function for a second. This orange function is the function from the student. These are some possible ways of writing the function. Then I'm just going to click on this function. Um, I'm going to highlight in red. Notice it, it points out the minimum point. 11 years before 2000, we were at a minimum distance of 4.4 billion. And then we reached another minimum distance of 4.4 billion kilometers 237 years after 2000. So this tells us that information confirms that, okay, this makes sense. And then in Desmos, I call this function f of x. So if I just type in f of 22, I get an approximation of distance. So it should be 4.89 billion kilometers from the sun in the year 2022. They want us to round to the nearest hundredth right there. So, so that's, that's the answer to the problem. And that's the answer written from the perspective of a cosine. Now, there are lots of other answers here. I don't want to talk for too long about all of these problems. If you want to know what's going on here, let me just say it briefly. In this version of the equation, I did pi over 2 minus the angle we were given, the other measurement we were given here, the input. That's because cosine and sine waves are out of phase by pi over 2 radians or 90 degrees. So you can show equivalence there. Right? This is the same wave. You can't even see any difference there. And then here I did a sine wave written one way and a cosine wave wave written another way, just shifting the phases around. So it's possible to write a cosine wave so you can see where we have a positive 1.5 and then the, the phase shifting is just a little bit different. So you don't need to have a negative 1.5 here. Now, this is, is the answer, one of the answers I think is closest to the student's answer. Now the student answer is up here, but you can see if I show their wave, it's different, right? This orange wave here is not the same. So let's just make sense of it and see how we can fix it and why it makes sense that this is one of the right answers there. Now this student was very close. I believe they put 237, let's look back at our function here. I think they put 237 because they, they saw that there's a minimum point here shifted over. So they phase shifted it over 237 um, units. But um, you remember the shape of a sine wave, let's just do a little rough sketch over to the side here. Sine wave, something like this. Sine wave ends on a zero and begins on a zero, and there's a zero in the middle. So we want to find that shape. It's not that it has to end and begin at zero always, but it has to end at the midline, begin at the midline, and end at the midline. So our midline is right here, right in the middle of 7.4 and 4.4. So the sine wave that we're looking for has to begin on that midline, so I could start it here, and end on that midline here. And this would be the sine wave we're looking for. So if we're thinking about it in terms of a sine wave, oh boy, it's really sloppy. If we're thinking about this in terms of a sine wave, that's the wave we're looking for. And the question is, where, where would we shift this it from this parent function to get this? So the amplitude is going to be this. Everything's going to be the same, essentially. So let's write d of t equals, I'm going to write as they were 1.5 for amplitude times the sine of 2 pi over 248 times t minus some amount plus 5.9. So what is that amount? Well, we want to know where this point is. How far over was it moved from the y-axis? You can see here in the parent function, that point that's on the midline is on the y-axis. So it's been shifted over to the right by some amount from here to here. How far is that? So let's first find this maximum point right here. It's halfway between the two minimums here and here. So we do 237 plus uh, negative 11, and we divide it by 2, and we get 113. So this is the halfway point between those two minimums. Well, this point is halfway between this maximum and this minimum right here. So this maximum is at 113, this minimum is at negative 11, and I can show, well, let's switch this to blue, that this is just 113 plus negative 11 
and that divided by 2. That would be our phase shift. Now 113 minus 11, that's 102, divided by 2 is 51. So one way to write this is to shift it over by 51 units. But we can also, to encourage the students thinking, they, they wanted to focus on this point here. Well, this point here is not what we want to focus on. I want to focus on this shifting right here to this point. Where is that point? Well, whatever distance this is right here, it's going to equal this distance here, right? That, that, this wave has that kind of symmetry. So from negative 11 to 51, that's 60, well, it's 51 minus negative 11, that's 62 apart, right? This is a distance of 62. So this should be 62 past 237. So right, up 62 units to this point here, this x value, which is 237 plus 62, which is 200. And 30 plus 60 is 90, right? 99. Is that right? 299. I believe that's correct. So we want to add essentially um, 62 units past this point here. So this could be 299. And let's just check that because I feel not so confident about that. So first of all, we said, what did we say, 51. There it is, it matches. And then I'm going to type the same thing. And I'm going to give us a subscript. And I said 299. And it matches. So you could shift at different amounts and get the same thing, because the wave is periodic, um, right? So you can shift at different amounts. And these are 299 minus 51. What is that? Well, that's 248 units apart. So the a different, different, you can add different chunks of the period essentially here to get the same thing, right? It cycles every 248, I guess, years. So if you add another 248, let's just finish one last thing, right? Or you can go backwards. You can go in any direction really here. If I say, let's add another, 248 to this, that what would that be? 299, which we do right here because I'm tired, plus 248 is 547. So if I get to 547, you can see I get the same wave, and so on and so forth. So that connection there, the phase shifting, is based on the period. All right, I hope that helped.